Hey guys, this is Manak, your civil bro. So the topic of uh, today's video is, you know, for all civil engineers who want to prepare for a job of a site engineer. So all the works of the site, uh, why, how to prepare for the interview, what are the you know common questions uh, which uh, you know people ask. So all that we know, uh, you know, by my experience of working in the you know field that is uh, the site engineer as well as I have also worked in a consultancy project also in the office. So both of them, uh, you know, combined, uh, I am telling you the, the experience of, you know, what are the common things which an interviewer asks because, you know, I have taken interviews and I have also given interviews till now. So that's, uh, you know, the, by that experience I will tell you. So basically the first thing which you need to understand uh, while you are preparing and while, you know, are going with the mindset that uh, whenever a private company, private organization, you know, hires a candidate, they simply w wants to want to get the job done. Suppose we have a construction site and they are hiring an engineer, maybe senior engineer, junior engineer, project manager, whatever. They simply want to get their job done. Okay. So now you have to know that what a site engineer needs to know to execute the works at site. So basic things the basic things like the bar bending schedule okay so you know when you will get the drawing then he should he or she should be able to you know read the drawing properly that's the study of drawings and the bar bending schedule so you know if you are uh, able to do the bar bending schedule automatically you are going to study the you know you are good at drawing so interview you know, nobody will ask you about drawings people will ask you for the bar bending schedule maybe they will give you a simple column uh, you know uh, size and uh, they will tell you how, how to calculate the length of the strip by that you will know uh, and uh, in in India, I mean, uh, that the uh, isolated, you know, that haunch footing with slope or you know the you know haunch footing is very common. So sometimes they also ask to calculate the volume of that, and uh, you know the, these common question, you know, how to uh, maybe some common questions for estimation and uh, what is the ratio of M20 and M25 grade concrete? What is the cement sand aggregate uh, ratio there? And uh, these they ask. And also, you know, in depending on the job uh, description, uh, you will uh, get to know more. If the job description, uh, you know, just uh, has your estimator, you know, of, uh, you know, the work is more of estimate, they can ask you some basic rates as well. So you might, you know, just uh, know the market rates of some basic rods, cement, and, uh, you know, this. Uh, your basic labor rates as per the market and as well as the your existing uh, your uh, CPWD schedule so both of them actually you need to know so the first thing is the bargaining schedule so I'm not talking uh, reading drawings because automatically the if you know the well about the bargaining schedule you are able to read the drawings properly so you should uh, prepare that the bargaining schedules the second thing uh, is your basics very basics or like uh, your basic terminology like you know m25 m20 uh, grade concrete and uh, then the basic tests of you know brick uh, cement sand coarse aggregate the basic basic ones which you know you actually do at the site not the only ones you do at the lab so these things and the basic rates that is as per the site as per these, uh, you know, uh, PWD schedules and also, you know, PWD schedules is, I'm talking only about India, that like any government, uh, if you are outside India, then now any, any government uh, or organized schedules there uh, and also the, you know, the uh, particular rates of labors and materials which are available in the market. So both of them, that is the labor rates as per the government schedules and as per the market, you need to know. These are the minimum things which you need to know. Okay, usually, uh, you know, this interviews of site doesn't go that much deep. If you have experience, then you obviously you will have the edge over others. Uh, but if you are fresher also, that uh, doesn't go that much deep. They don't want to know that how much you studied or how much theory you are able to remember. No, they don't want to know that. They only want to know uh, that whether you will be able to get the job done or not. Okay, because they are a private company and if you already know these things, then they will not uh, have to waste your uh, their time, you know, you know, to to teach you okay so that's what they want basically so if you you know are preparing for a site uh, engineer uh, interview i hope you know if you just prepare all these basic things not go you know too much deep and too much you know theoretical aspect basic basic things that helps but uh, I, again it's, it's an in general uh, you know description for a uh, normal site engineer if 
the you know your the job description mentioned something about soil you might need to you know, go into check into details of some soil as well soil tests and basic terminology of soil uh, and again like uh, if 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 it uh, is a different kind of job if it is in a port or something then you need to know about that that as well and these are the things which you need to know and uh, sometimes uh, the you know if the interviewer is the company is uh, you know very much reputed or you know their interview is very much skilled they may ask some questions which are you know little bit uh, more into the deeper level like they may ask how to design like some steps of the two uh, you know one way or two way slab difference and some of the steps of the design so in that they will obviously not ask about the calculation but you just need to know you know what are the steps of the design of slab you know this is the additional i'm telling you because in some uh, you know my uh, i know some friends who Uh, who have been asked about the design of the design steps of slab and obviously one way to ask that this is a common question design of slab they have been asked like uh, what are the steps in the design of slab so design of slab design of uh, beams and uh, design of columns and design of footings so the and uh, staircase is not that common this so basically these four things uh, design these are the additional if you want if you have time then you just uh, uh, If you have time, uh, enough time, then you know you just practice them. If you don't have time, just uh, like note down the steps of it at least. What are the steps like given data, and then for, for footing, they finding out the you know size of the footing, then the calculation of movements, etc. Et so, you know these are the things uh, like this you can remember. So uh, you know if there is anything else or any topic which, which you want to know from me, uh, you can comment below, and uh, we will continue to meet in another. Have a nice day. Bye bye.